Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Doom 64. This is episode 8. And we find ourselves in a grey brown box. Okay. No idea what we're going to be faced with. So let's, you know, leave nothing to chance and get the uh, plasma gun out. Okay. Spooky red lights. The music's come back. Okay, I think we have to be on our toes with this one. Ooh. Oh no. Sweet. Transforming levels again. I love it. Seems like we're quite low on chain gun ammunition then. Don't imagine we're going to get too many cells kicking around, so let's play with the shotgun for a bit. Okay, so that music keeps uh, making me jump, so that's good. Slightly unorthodox manoeuvring there. To play slightly differently with a controller. Sure, I've seen a more obvious blue door. Yep. Always good to check just in case. Uh, we're gonna have to run back through here, are we? I look like a gauntlet. All for a shotgun. I see a third one. Really? Is that everything we're going to get? Okay. Well, not to be too ungrateful. A shotgun is always welcome. Ah, we've also activated this teleport. Okay, I'm going to get the blue key. Straightforward. Now, how do we get back to the door? Wow, they've really gone to town with the coloured lighting in this level. Uh Okay, I guess we'll fall in. Right, what's moving? Oh, is that another time delay maybe? Awesome, back to the blue door. Okay, this is going fairly well. Got the red key, snatching distance. Hmm, can't get it there. Right, immediately got lost in this maze. I don't know what it's like watching it, but playing it with that mechanical demon breathing in your ear every now and again. Like that. It's quite atmospheric. It's 
probably not my favourite soundtrack, but I do have a lot of respect for Aubrey Hodges' work. I think, um, you know, it's certainly a completely different take. It definitely adds to the uh, spookiness. fired a rocket in so long I don't even need any extra ammo for it. However, I do need something to... Uh, yeah, I'm just going to have to press this. Right. Uh oh. Oh, oh a proper baron. Right, it's past me on time. Oh no, rocket. Rockets might be a good idea for this one. Get the red key from that side either. I think this down arrow might be something that we need. Yeah. Ah! Turn the wrong way. Right. I'll let you follow me around. I'm waiting for you with the rocket launcher. feeling that would backfire. Okay. So unfortunately I think I've forgotten. If I've seen a red door, I can't remember it. That was that weird dead end with a shotgun at the end. Well, seems that teleport is red. Let's have a look. Aha, red door. How do we get to it? That's a berserk pack, that wasn't there before. I forgot about that. Right. Slightly annoying that you can't cycle through the other way. Still. Nothing too much to complain about in this game. Now. How do we get to that red door? genuinely have no idea. Is it as simple as literally turning and walking towards it? Possibly. <laughs> Inconclusive. I think I got stuck on the wall there, but I can't say for sure. No, we can't do that. Ah, how frustrating. Maybe that does something. Yes, I am. Oh, okay. So I don't know if this is true or not. I'm completely making this up. But this is the PAL version of the game. And 
Ah. I'm sure this game is finishable. However, I remember on the Dreamcast we had Metropolis Street Racer and the PAL version he had an option to do uh, 50 or 60 hertz mode. The problem is the challenges were all based on driving the car at 60 hertz speeds. So when I set mine to 50 hertz, which by the way was permanent and locked into your save game, basically could only get so far and then the challenges became ridiculous. I'm doing something wrong I'm sure. At least I know what to do. Too slow. Oh, that was ridiculous amount of meandering, but that's a general idea, I think, is to hold the run down and reverse onto the teleporter. Oh, <laughs> just completely miss. <laughs> okay, let's try again. Here we go. Hordes of zombies, no problem. Getting to a lift in time, big deal. That is great news. I don't see a reason why I wouldn't collect it. Oh. Preemptively grown in there actually did alright. Assumed I was going to get a ball lightning to the face. Nice. Okay. So, yes. Well, that's me. <laughs> oh, am I, if I'm quick enough, can I get the things to both? Ah, uh, ah, uh. that was optimistic. Giving myself long enough to actually look. Am I even going to get this done at all? So I press that switch. Right. What happens? Not a lot, actually. Pressing that up arrow isn't... it's not BB being slow, is it? Alright, oh, I haven't got time for this silliness when I've got the red key that I could be using. And that could be solving all my problems. OK. 
Okay, it's taunting me with the plasma gun, but I already have one. Okay. <laughs> Show me a camera above, and I'm guessing the others. I guess I can play this game? Oh, it's moving around. Okay, that was easier than I thought. Uh, what do the others do? Bad things, probably. Ooh, that's done something else. disappointed that the game seems to be relying on running puzzles so much. So I can only apologise if you're watching this Let's Play and I'm going to tend spend about 20 minutes doing this. I'm pretty sure though In this. Okay, so we've got the. We can make that go down. Worth a try. Yeah, just walking over there, set setting that to uh, to go up again. Oops. Yeah, you've been blatant about it. You can even see the trigger lines on the map. So, alright, so what's the trick here? I'm getting quite wound up by this, actually. Let's see if this can help. See if we can just press all the buttons, see what happens. Salty about the this yellow key situation. Okay, so hmm. oh, okay. How about we can't? Yeah, if we can't walk into just a, 
crackpot theory, it might be terrible. Maybe we can shoot these buttons. Just give me the key. Oh man, I bet you when you opened this video you were like, oh I wonder why it's half an hour this time. I'm going to have to use a walkthrough. And I'm back, and I'm really angry at the developers of this game now. It's just a terrible puzzle. So, they set it up so that there's the um, buttons here, and buttons here, and the cage, and turns out the trigger for it is actually back here. So, um, yeah. That's a really uh, weak part of this game. And uh, it was quite funny reading the YouTube comments saying that they've been pressing the buttons for about 30 minutes. So I don't feel too bad. It's not just me. Right. So I remember how to play the game again. Oh, a lot of imps. Right, let's get the running shoes on. Proper full on Barons of Hell, isn't it? Okay, plasma gun time. Okay, safe enough, I think, to get some rockets going. You get hurt really hard in this game. Lost literally 150 health doing that. Not good. So I believe we have reached the final part of the level. I'm just going to run just in case I fall off something. But not too far. That would be unfortunate. Very carefully climb on. Phew. Very tense few steps at the end there. So that was Final Outpost, not the finest hour of the designers, but we made it. And uh, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.